back today with a new review and this time it is a why am i I'm clapping and this time it is a detangling brush and you guys i kind of got to be quiet because it is early in the morning here so this is what we have this is called the bam mop this is not that easy detangler and i'm gonna tell you why i didn't do that one i did get this on amazon though it is the the mop or bamop however you want to pronounce it detangle brush now it has eight rows flexible rows here um i believe all this stuff is still pending patent you guys because there's so many brushes that are like this but unlike that easy detangler this has a firmer handle okay let's compare it to the felicia leatherwood i need to clean this um a little residue here this has a wider hang handle to make it easier to grip it's lightweight this has nine rows as compared to eight rows so we're going to go ahead um section my hair off apply my diy detangler we're going to get to detangling all right you guys i need to i think i have my hair i you couldn't even see this all right so we're going to do a section in the front and a section in the back um let me wet my hair before parting it to make it easier. All right, we're gonna do this section first. All right, let's go. We're gonna start with at the bottom. Let's do it like this, okay? Hmm. I'm not liking that. I'm gonna be very honest. I'm not liking. Okay, so let's see if we could. Okay, let me show you the difference. Felicia Leatherwood. First of all, yes. See that? Now, yes, I've already used that one for a bit, but let's go in with this one. See, I don't, I don't, I don't like that it's resisting. Don't resist the four. All right, you guys. So one thing I do want to add regarding this particular detangling brush is that it works best if you first use it vertically and then use it horizontal. Um, so you will see additional clips of that again with me using vertical and then horizontal. That was actually a lot easier to do. Also, I found that there was an actual attachment that you can add to the brush to help secure the rows. Because that's one of the complaints I have is that uh, I guess the flexible rose is supposed to help, but I felt like my hair was very resistant to that. So I did go ahead and add that attachment. And again, you will be seeing additional footage towards the end of the video.
to a comparison of how much hair I had to come out with the Felicia Leatherwood brush versus the other brush. Yeah, quite a bit more on the pink side there. And I have seen several videos, you guys, of other women on YouTube who have used this brush without the attachment that secure the rose. And they also had quite a bit of hair to come out. So going back in with the Felicia Leatherwood um, detangling brush and up next, you're going to see that additional footage. So I am coming back on cam after I saw another person review this detangling brush and she added what I thought was a tool to clean the brush, but she added it to the brush to kind of secure the rose. So we're going to give this a thorough review, add it, wet my hair, add the conditioner, and we're going to see what she do now that I've added this. Um, I do want to say, you guys, that I believe the same people who make the easy detangler make this brush. I came in some so you guys can see. Um, I believe it's the same makers. You know, everything looks the same, the packaging and everything. So, I wetted my hair. Let me add the conditioner. You never want to detangle your hair on dry hair. Never. This is what I added. This right here to it. Um, and we're going to try to detangle vertically first and then horizontal, okay? See? Well, hold on. Hold on. Okay. And then I'll, let's go horizontal. Wow! That makes a difference. That, yeah, that makes a difference in my opinion. It does. So she's gone from a C, from a C minus to a uh, B plus. Um, let's do another section, okay? Again, adding the conditioner. And a few times, and this, this is already moving out. <clears throat> This thing that secures it is already moving. I had to adjust that. Again, I had to adjust this extra piece um, because it popped out. So again, we're gonna go in vertical and then we're gonna go horizontal, okay? A lot better, a lot better, but I still, I still feel like it's almost ripping at my hair. I really do, you guys. Um, and now I'm going to go in. So yeah, overall, I still feel like it's kind of ripping a little too much at my hair. I prefer the Felicia Leatherwood. I know some people who this is the bond for them. I still prefer the Felicia Leatherwood at the end of the day. Um, one thing I do want to say, this is the exact same brush. You can tell. If you look at the pictures of the Easy Detangler, I'm pretty sure this is made in China. Um, yeah, so it just came out again. If I have to adjust this every time, it's a lot better. If I have to adjust this every time, it's going to take me forever to detangle my hair. That alone is a minus for me. I, I don't have the patience to do that. If you have normal density, this may not be a problem for you. It is what it is, you guys. Check it out. I got everything on Amazon.com. I will be linking everything below in the description box, okay? Take care. Bye.